Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. We are doing great, we are here in Huahini, it's a beautiful day. People are enjoying the beach, enjoying some music as you can over here. And today we're gonna talk about tools. Have you boys checked your tools lately? Well, I was checking mine and decided to make this video. It was actually a suggestion by our viewers and I'm really glad to, to talk about it and to show the basic toolkit for a sailor. Either you are a liveaboard, a racer or a weekend sailor, we all have to deal with boat maintenance and for this we need tools. There's nothing like the right tool for the right job. So let's get started with this and I'm gonna start with electrical tools. My basic electrical kit starts with the multimeter. This is the main diagnose tool. With this you can find out many many things that are going wrong with your electrical system. So this is a must have. Uh, make sure you get a good one and in working condition with batteries, a crimping plier. Here you can only you can not only strip the wire, you can crimp terminals. I have a nice crimping terminals kit. Heat shrink, this guy's really useful, make a job uh, neat. If you if you come after that you just come with a torch and get that good finish on your electrical installation. Really like this guy here, a wire stripper. You just save a lot of time. Instead of getting the plier to open a wire, you just use this guy here and you'll be done in seconds. Like that. Also, a nice set of wire, different gauges. For electrical or any other electronic stuff, make sure you have a set of small screwdrivers, either flat heads and Phillips. This guy here, also for electrical to clean terminals and stuff like that. It's a metal brush. So you just apply some WD, like in, in terminal uh, battery terminals, and you scrub a bit with a wire brush and it's new again. Really cool and cheap. Also a soldering iron. I, I don't have it here. It mine is somewhere in the mess. And uh, some soldering. Okay, and that's if you have that you're good to go, you don't have everything you can think about electrical but it's a good start and this is the basic electrical kit for a sailboat. Let's carry on and talk about spanners. This kit here, I really like it and nothing more annoying than you have a boat and you don't have a proper spanner for it. Here I, I have one from 7 to 24 and this is metric. Whenever I go to do some maintenance and I know I have to deal with different boats, different sizes, I take the whole kit. I really like it, this package here. I think it's really special and it, again protects from rust and it's always there. You can always know which one is missing. Before I didn't have a set like that and then you just like going on your, your toolbox and it's like struggling and you already stress fixing something. So I recommend you to have something like that. And on top of this set I have an adjustable one. This is a big one adjustable. Sometimes you need more than one spanner, sometimes you're dealing with two nuts. And I have a sorted one. I don't have every single one of these repeated, but many of those I have in my in my toolbox because one sometimes is ju just not enough. As you're talking spanners, dealing with boats, a hatchet kit with different sockets. Mine actually, I'm kind of ashamed to show you. It's getting really, really old. It's rusty as f, but it's the one I have. I'm crazy to buy a whole new set, but. This will have to wait till Australia or New Zealand. No chance of buying tools here in French Polynesia. Extremely important. Sometimes you just don't have the room to swing the two to undo a boat or to do a boat. And with a hatchet, even if you can get like one centimeter each turn, you know, it's, it's, it's the way it goes. Especially engine, there's some very, very tight bolts that you have to go little by little and undo or tight. Let's carry on to Allen keys. This doesn't have a lot of applications, but when you need it, you need it. Here in the boat, the one, the first thing that comes in my mind is to service my the windlass. It's all uh, Allen bolts. I like this set here. There's different sizes and keeps all together. I don't lose anyone, anything. And I have uh, another kit which is each each key is separated. And when you need more power, sometimes it's better because you can uh, 
put through here and give some extra power on it but on a smooth operation this should be okay all right so make sure you have one of those on your kit a favorite a classic it's screwdrivers if you don't know what a screwdriver is for just like go do something else go watch cartoons well joking but uh, important I have probably a dozen of uh, screwdrivers assorted ones make sure you have a big one strong one give you power and good grip Phillips and different size different lengths it's uh, there's no such a thing as too many screwdrivers okay you just can have as many as you want long ones short ones because it's uh, so many applications for this not only for do and undo screws whenever you need something sharp or just get uh, in between and make some leverage it's good good quality ones will last longer let's talk about pliers have normal pliers here this one with uh, long nose ones cutting plier and this one my favorite adjustable application you use for hydraulic I use a lot when you have to grab some uh, pipe or stuff like that and many other things when you just need some good grip and the problem with pliers on the bolt they tend to get rusty and you know you need to lubricate your tool your tool needs to be always lubricated right it performs better and pliers if you don't use it you know I will start to get stiff I think these four here are a basic kit essential to have and you're gonna use it a lot I guarantee make sure you have a precision tool like that a hammer you use it many ways you can think of sometimes you sometimes this is the right tool for the right job sometimes you just need strength sometimes you just need to hit hard and make sure you have a nice hammer power tools it's not all the power tools you can think of it's just like the basic ones that I select to show you today so starting with the power drill this guy here I got nearly five years ago maybe more than five years ago and has drilled so many holes that I'm amazed that it's still going on Makita brand that I can recommend based on this one useless unless you have a set of drills you can use to drill holes and to do and undo bolts well there's many applications depending on the on the endings you have for this one thing that I wanted for many years and last year I finally got it it's this it's a knockoff of the Dremel tool it's a mini grinder but it does the job it's really cool especially for very thin and delicate jobs just like gel coat cracks or just finishing patches you did drilling very small holes last power tool I'm gonna show you is gonna be this an angle grinder so if you can have only one of these big power tools not uh, apart from these two I'll have this and the reason for that is because there's many applications on that you can sand you can grind stuff you can cut metal or wood so this is cheap it's something very important sometimes you are in an emergency and you need to cut some chain it's bugs so this guy here but one thing about power tools if they are not 12 volt powered if they are 110 or 220 make sure you have the a proper uh, inverter to run it or a generator that you can run it from okay this one it's 12 volts so you just charge it I can charge it on 12 volt socket but this one no I need 110 or 220 pocket all right we talk about basic electrical kit basic mechanical stuff power tools now let's talk about some assorted stuff that I think it's important to have rivet gun rivet doesn't have many many applications but when you have it it's just like something that only rivet can can sort it out so worth to have also it's no it's not that big and sometimes rivets are very handy here it's a filter removal tool okay very specific that's just like one application in this boat it's to remove the filter the oil filter for the engine but without it you're gonna struggle 10 times more cock gun I use that more than I would like to there's a lot of things in the boat that needs uh, caulking or sealing and if you have a decent cock gun not the cheapest one this is not the best one 
I, I dream with a bad one that you want to just like fully bear it but this one does the job so very important scissors okay I don't need to tell you what a scissors is for I was constantly taking it from uh, from the galley and Georgia was always mad with me so she finally gave me <laughs> the scissors now I have one on my kit and she get another one she got another one for the galley which is way nicer and I feel tempted to use it a clamp okay when you need to to patch the glue to stuff glue two parts I use this to fix the dinghy when I have to apply a patch on the dinghy you put some pressure on it and it stays there holding while we're waiting for some glue to dry and different sizes it's I think it's a cool thing to have nearly there we're almost finishing we have uh, this I, I'm not sure how we call it we call it spatula in Portuguese uh, something like paint scraper or maybe spatula tool and this I use to remove barnacles from the hole I have a stainless steel one but that's too rough and I use for other jobs so I have a, always like two or three of those that I use to clean the hole and for many other applications if I'm applying some gel coat and doing some repair on the fiberglass it's always handy to have last item it's something that I use very seldom and I hope I rarely use it for real but it's vital to have it's important it's actually more than a tool it's a safety gear and this is a bolt cutter the main reason why I keep a bolt cutter in the boat is uh, if I have a mast failure okay I could use a power tool but let's suppose I capsize I lost all the power and I have a broken mast that is hanging and I need to cut that stays to get something more or less to normal with this I can cut and stay and make less less trouble some my, my situation okay these guys here I don't know maybe it's because I have a strong offshore background but I use a lot I like it I have all different sizes and colors it's the tie wraps it's super handy to hanging wires when you're just like uh, running wires through the boat you put them all together with this and there's so many applications so guys that's it that's my basic toolkit and I think uh, this is the the very minimum someone needs to have on this boat to to be safe okay also there's no point having a tool if you can't find it make sure you keep your tools organized easy to find and well maintained in an emergency tools are also uh, a safe sa part of the safety gear okay if you're in a hurry you just go there you grab it and you can save the day thanks so much for watching this video if you think i missed something important please drop in the comments let us know what you think about this video i hope it's, it can be really helpful for some of you thank you so much for watching and see you around.